Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and in this tutorial I'll be going over how you can easily make a grid in Adobe Illustrator. To begin let's select our rectangular grid tool which may be hidden under one of these other tools here. To start let's select the top left of our artboard and drag down to the bottom right. And you can select how many vertical or horizontal dividers you want by using the left, right, up or down keys on your keyboard. Now let's undo that and alternatively you can just click and the rectangular grid tool options panel will pop up where you can select how many horizontal or vertical dividers you want. And now you can just align that to center. Now let's undo this once more and play around with the polar grid tool. This time you'll want to go to the center of your document while holding option or alt and shift to drag from the center while constraining proportions. And just like the rectangular grid tool you can use the arrow keys to add or remove dividers like so. And now the final way to make a grid is by using a shape. I'll be using the rectangle tool and again, dragging from the top left to the bottom right of my artboard. Next, you wanna to go to object, path, split into grid, which will open up this panel here where you can adjust how many rows and columns you want, along with the gutter space, which is the space in between your rows and columns. I'll just make my gutter space 20 pixels. Once you're happy with your grid layout, the final step is to go up to view, and then go down to guides and make guides and that will turn your grid into a guide you can easily show and hide by using the shortcut command or control and semicolon. Now any text, illustrations or images will lock to those guides. Those are a few ways you can make grids or guides in Adobe Illustrator. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.